Hey, what's up, guys? Going to be a real quick one today. Um, a little behind, just chasing all over the place, stuff going on this morning that was an, uh, not anticipated, but we're still fighting through some stuff. One thing that we are got a little bit of a battle on our hands on is the federal government. I, I can't say who did it, but ultimately what had trickled down into our, um, into our industry was a change in the loan application. The loan application before was a, uh, you know, just a five page document. Uh, a lot of it was just, and some of it was, uh, that was just extra room for information. Now it's a nine page document. So, and a great, a lot more information, a lot more detail. It's shoving stuff in different places. So it's caused us a little bit of grief because we now have to try, they, they converted it over the weekend. So we walked in on the first and a lot of the stuff's missing in a lot of our files. So we're running around like mad trying to figure out what's what and where is it and trying to get it all changed around. So have some patience with us. Um, it would be one thing if I was running a pipeline of 10 files. I'm running a pipeline of 570 files. It's we're, we're making a lot of adjustments, a lot of extra hours being put in. So just know my team's on it. We're working on it. We're going to get it figured out. Just put a, put a couple new people on. We're working on another one later this week. Um, got some st good stuff in the works for the future. Um, I do have to apologize about something that I'd said in the last one. I said Carver's in Vegas. It's Cleaver. Cleaver is the, the uh, restaurant that I went to, me and my wife, um, coming back from our anniversary trip. Uh, if you go there, ask for Benny. The guy's cool as hell. He was my server. Benny took very, very good care of us. Um, really, really just down-to-earth guy, young guy, joked a lot, had a good time. Um, just And he took very good care of us, always checked on us. So just let him know that braided bastard with this chainsaw hat and the hot wife, way hotter than what he deserved, um, came in to see him. So he, uh, he's one that, uh, that my wife even lay, said a, um, did a review for him online to make sure that his company knew because he was that good. Um, he took really good care of us. So uh, on to market. So we're still crawling out of the hole uh, quite a bit. In fact, I even made a mistake in the past. I kept following the 3.0 coupon, but back in a ways back, we started changing to the 2.5 for our investor stuff. That's where we're getting these rates into the into the uh, lower threes when we were locking, locking stuff at 2.3 and 2.4 percent. Excuse me, 3.4 and 3.3 uh, percent, um, even though I was calling 3.625. Well, we've taken a bit of a beating, as you can see here. Uh, we're looking at um, this closed at 104.88 today. We're at 10. Damn. I got to get this where I can see that. Today we're at uh, 103.75. That's 100 and what is, what is that? 114 basis points, 113 basis points different. That's a that's a pretty big gap, right? So when I could have gotten, say, a, let's say a 3.5 before at par, it now would cost a one, little over a point to get the exact same. Now, it's not quite there. It's probably about 3.6 to 3.7 at par right now. When I'm guessing, you know, depending upon what it is, right? This is like a 20% down, 30 year fixed, 740 plus credit score in a certain price range, right? Lower price ranges, higher price ranges, price different. Every $10,000 that we have in loan amount, if I remember correctly, it changes to a whole different pricing grid. So this is just like a broad estimate of what you would possibly get and what that cost might be. So just know it's not the super sexy stuff I was getting a little while ago, but we're still pretty close to the same line. Uh, market's doing all right. I think that today, if we can get above that support line or that resistance line, well, we may not get there. We may stay in this channel for a little while. So mid to higher threes, still freaking smoking, guys. Absolutely smoking. It's a gift. And if you think that it's not worth jumping in, into the market right now as far as buying an investment property, because maybe it'll get better, I wouldn't wait. I wouldn't let interest rate deter you. And if you think, dang it, I wish I could have locked a month ago or whatever. Guys, there's people that we locked because they wanted to lock. And now all of a sudden rates are way different and they got to pay extension fees because we don't want to lock until we know an appraisal is coming in. We got people getting extended past their, their build times because what's going out in the market, uh, going on out with the weather in different parts of the year country. Just be cautious. We're, we do certain things for a certain reason. I've had people complain. It's like, oh, you're the only lender that doesn't, doesn't lock until we get an appraisal or at least an appraisal is getting done. I've been doing this for 23 years. There's a reason why I do that. I don't do it because I, want, because I have no, no reason. I have seen more reasons to wait than to jump on it. Just to let you know, I've seen way more reasons to hold off on that lock. So we should talk, continue to talk, keep the communication open, but we're still in awesome times. I can't, I can't stress that enough. I still got properties, in fact, the property right behind me. 
6.99% interest rate. I don't care. It's still cash flowing like mad for me. And look how badass this place is. So thanks, guys. Talk to you again real soon.